Hey guys, as you saw from the intro, in this match we are doing quite well in the early to mid game, but then in the late game we made a very silly mistake and we almost threw the game entirely. But Vel is such a great hero that he can really save the game in the most important moment. But before we continue, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video. Dragon Champions is a turn based strategy game with an engaging storyline filled with humor and easter eggs. The graphic is heavily inspired by WoW, so if you're an old school MMORPG player, you might enjoy the vibe of this game. You can join a guild to participate in raids, and if your guild manages to defeat the bosses, you will be rewarded with some very handsome rewards. There are a variety of heroes and races to choose from, and you will have to choose them carefully in order to create the ultimate team with the best synergy. You will never run out of things to do in this game, there are tons of variety of game modes you can choose from such as main campaign, arena, challenges and so on. The hero that I like the most is Slinger, because not only can he deal tons of damage to all enemies, he can also increase the health of the team, quite similar to Raphael from Mobile Legends. And you can get this hero completely for free plus tons of other gifts by using the promo code BEETLEGIFT. So feel free to download the game now using the link provided in the description below. I wanted to clear the wave really fast, but they have such a scary early game composition that it would be foolish of me to try to fight them right now. They are playing extremely aggressively because they know they have the advantage in the early game. All I can do is use my skill and make sure to not lose any experience from the minions. Good thing that we picked Jawhead so he can help the jungler take the buff relatively quickly before the enemies have a chance to delay our jungler by quite a lot. Remember, you want to level up the second skill first, so when you are level 4, you can choose knock into the air while also being able to level up his ultimate. After that, you can max his first skill all the way. The opposition managed to get the first total, that will make them even scarier in the early game. You can tell the enemies are quite decent because of how they are giving visions and whatnot. Next talent you want to level up is his ultimate, and I would recommend damage for sure. It guarantees that you can one shot any damage dealers as long as they don't have Athena shield.
Their tank is low HP, but does it matter? My priority is killing their jungler first. Just slowing them down so they don't catch the rest of my teammates in a bad spot. Our minions can finish the turret by themselves. There's no need for me to risk myself getting ganked. Ult is ready. I saw that they wanted to defend the top lane, so I decided to wait in the bush and set an ambush. I was trying to look for the emojis to reciprocate, but since I don't use them often, I messed up. Mages such as Veil vale is all about predicting the enemy's movement and just hiding in the bushes until they pass by. The audacity to spawn recall after such blunder. Angry face. It's quite useful to let your teammates know when your ultimate on cooldown is available, so they can have a better idea if it's okay to engage or not. It was a 1 for 1 trade, so it wasn't too bad. And now that we're in the late game territory, Bell can instantly delete any of their squishy heroes. Don't try to basic attack with Bell, just cast the skills, reposition, and wait until the skills are available again. Harley is here, so we could try to pick someone off. Since this strike is very effective, there's no need to change it. Oof, we really messed up here. Now the adversary can make a comeback. 
Gotta clear the minions so they cannot push. The bushes are just too OP. Please nerf. Oh, I'm blushing. Just gotta keep doing the same. XT. Well, he built Athena shield, so no more one-shotting him. He learned from his previous death. We still have the Lord, so I really wanted to end the game right here. But I guess we were too desperate, and now this situation looks quite familiar. Well, I guess they got tired of my sneaky attacks. Smiley face. Just look at the insane damage, just with my first and second skill he's already almost dead. And remember that he has Athena shield as well. That's absolutely naughty. Kagura was trying to bait us. But she was not a professional masturbator. Once again, I just sacrificed my life so we can end the game sooner. If you want to win more often, you have to be selfless when you're playing a team game. <laughs>